previously on 4WD Africa. Modifications had begun on the Land Cruiser. The boys finished the roof rack. Gerard started work on his box. And Herman found a problem with the ladder. It would have been in the back here. What are you doing, Fergie? Cutting a new board for the door system. Because I'm moving the box to the one side. So I need to make a smaller board. So the front runner supplied you the wood for free? Yes, it comes a box in the same wood. So the packing crate you're using is part of the, the new side panel? Yes. That's what you call recycling. putting it in, centering it up. The fridge is also in. This works well. In fact, with the door fully open, which it's not now, uh, I can get in there. The fridge door can open up completely. Here we go. Okay, so this is the handle that normally goes in the back door. So we've made a, bit of, a couple of changes here. Not we, my dad's made a couple of changes. I don't know if the camera will focus, there we go. So we've cut that out there to make up for the thickness in material over here on the ladder. And then also we've taken out these standard bolts because the standard nuts strip off about five mil of the thread. So you actually can't get another nut on there once you've taken them off. So they're also very short. So you can just barely get a M6 nut to, to take on them. So they've been taken off and we've replaced them with these stainless steel um, M6 bolts. We've just welded them on the other side and just um, sprayed some paint on the back just to prevent for rust. And yeah, that's it. So that's going back on now. Okay, so that's the ladder going on there. There's Willy been on many trips with us and he's the hands that we were missing yesterday to get the rack on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, really. You're resting, ne? Too <laughs> bad. <laughs> See the mod that we made to cut into that handle and it actually seals up against the door otherwise I'd have a gap at the back there between the body panel and the handle. <laughs> Dirk has gone to the shops and there is nothing that Hermann hates more than being unproductive. Unbeknownst to Dirk, Hermann has decided to start working on the spaces on his own. When I jacked the car up, the jack was flush up against the tyre as I jacked it up. Now that I put the spacer in, you can clearly see the 
difference. Don't do that. Do I'm going to hit you in the chops. <laughs> Go away. So I was super excited. I was just telling everyone, so no, I'm going to get this sorted now and check how nice and easy this is removable. And today I'm going to put wheel spaces in. I need to get, get gotten back from the shop and my dad's already done it. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, but you were sleeping, man. <laughs> so considering these are done now, you can actually see that the wheel is flush with the arch, which it never was. It was like 50 mils inside. For those who don't know, the reason for that is to accept the, the V8 engine, Jarrett had to widen the front diff and chassis as far as I'm aware. And they never did the same to the rear. Now, I'm gonna try this and see if it makes a difference. Right. So, we're gonna go and try this now. The new spaces. I just love this van. I was saying to you earlier that it's an event to drive this vehicle, and it, it really it is. It's not as comfortable, it doesn't have the power, it doesn't have all the creature comforts like auto headlights and auto wipers, rain sensing wipers and all those kinds of things. It doesn't even have a proper armrest in the center. But for some reason, it just feels like it's got a personality. And I've gone around the block, driven some bendy roads, and I can't feel any difference with the spaces, to be honest. But it looks a hell of a lot better. And I think on off, uh, you know, on, on in off-road situations, driving in sand and so on, uh, bearing in mind that I'm also going to be towing, I think that the track correction is going to help us a little bit in the sand. So, yeah, that's it. That's my verdict. I can't feel any difference. It drives the same to me. But yeah, so let me get cracking with the rest of the stuff. Next time on 4WD Africa, the boys get to work installing the winch. Dirk starts installing the batteries in the DC charger. Unfortunately, mistakes were made. Well, I made that cable now. Yeah, and? Too yes. short? Yes. Oh, well done. Did you measure before? No. no. And all the hard work pays off. See you next time.